Thank you now to a late breaking update on an abortion case that has reached the Supreme Court. Justices are letting Mifa Pristone stay on the market for the time being. And their order reverses a lower court's ruling, which was about to cancel that drug's decades old approval by the FDA. CBS's Willie James Inman tells us what happens next. The Supreme Court said Friday it will not limit access to the abortion pill Mifepristone while a lower court challenge plays out. People can obtain Mifepristone via the mail. Uh, people can use Mifepristone up to 10 weeks of pregnancy. There is no change at this point. Earlier this month, Judge Matthew Kasmerick, a Trump appointee, blocked the FDA's approval of Mifepristone. An appeals court then struck down the full ban but set limits on its availability. Another appeal by the Biden administration and drug maker Danco Laboratories will begin next month. The legal default is to say, let's maintain the status quo while the case is being appealed. And that's exactly what is gonna happen now. Anti-abortion demonstrators outside the Supreme Court were hoping the conservative majority upheld the ban. Many people misunderstood that when Roe v. Wade was overturned, that that was it. That was just a starting line. The case will likely make its way back to the Supreme Court at some point in the future, where justices would then weigh in on the merits of the case. The president has been very clear. This administration has been very clear. We are going to continue to fight for women's uh, women's reproductive rights. Mifepristone has been used by more than 5 million women in the U.S. since it was first approved in 2000. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington. And two justices publicly dissented against that order, Thomas Alito and Clarence Thomas. Now, it's unclear whether any other vote, others voted against it, but we do know that a majority voted in support. 